Assalamualaikum. I am Dr. Abdul Rahman Muhammad Alam. Welcome to today's cataract surgery insights. Today I'm performing a cataract surgery in a white cataract. I have already made the side port, main port. Now I'm staining the anterior capsule with blue rex. Wash out the blue blue reds with PSS. Now fill the anterior chamber with OVD. Now commence with the creation of a continuous curvilinear capsular axis of 5.5 mm. See how I lay the flap flat on the intact anterior capsule and I'm guiding the flap in a centripetal manner complete a continuous curvilinear capsular axis yes it is completed now I'll per perform hydro dissection Tap the center of the nucleus. I can hydro dissect. Yes, I think it is adequate. Now replenish the anterior chamber with OVD. Now we'll start with the phaco emulsification. Place the phaco handpiece through the main port and the Sinsky through the sideboard. Do a little bit of prefaco and go. Go for a dark vertical chop. Chop the piece. Now, now perform multiple chops in the back. I find vertical chop the most satisfying chop followed by horizontal chop yes vertical chop is like very easy it comes easy to me yes I have completely chopped all the pieces now I'll remove the chopped pieces in quadrant mode I change the Sinsky to spatula because no chopping is further required I love using the burst setting in the infinity. I keep the amplitude at 70. Time on for 200 milliseconds and off time 50 milliseconds. I keep the bottle height at 100 cc. Aspiration at 24. Vacuum at 250. The whole cataract has been emulsified and only the accumulated dissipated energy used was 10.60. Now start coaxial cortical removal. Oh my god, there was a nuclear piece hiding underneath the iris at 12 o'clock position. If the piece was left behind after closing the eye, this piece would not have been absorbed and would have caused lots of inflammation in the eye. This piece is also hard and will not aspirate through the coaxial handpiece. So I'm busy 
removing all the cortex some cortex in white cataract cortex become adherent to the posterior capsule and there are some areas of fibrosis now i will perform a modified form of bimano cortical removal where irrigation is happening through the coaxial handpiece and aspiration is happening through the bimanual aspiration handpiece. In doing so, I was able to remove the sub uh, incisional cortex. This small last piece should be emulsified with the FACO handpiece. In epinucleus mode, I removed it. Through the side port, I am holding the irrigation line to form the AC while I am enlarging the main wound. Main wound was enlarged so that the nozzle of the IOL cartridge easily fits through the main wound. Irrigation handpiece is placed in the side port and forms the AC and the IOL is implanted. This form of implantation of the IOL in the PC bag is called hydro implantation of the IOL in the PC bag. Now perform stromal hydration of the side port and the main port and close the wounds. Treat also the roof of the main port. 